Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to set a default value for a drop-down list in Excel. In this video, we will use the Visual Basic application to set a default message in the drop-down list before the items are selected. Let's get started. How to create a data validation drop-down list in Excel. First, we need to use data validation feature to create a drop-down list. Data validation allows you to restrict the type of data that can be entered in a cell and create drop-down lists to choose from. Here are the steps. Open your spreadsheet. Select the cell or cells where you want to create the drop-down list. Go to the Data tab on the Excel ribbon. Click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box that appears, go to the Settings tab. In the Allow drop-down, select List. In the Source field, select your data as source data for drop-down list. Click OK to save the change. Go to the Error Alert tab. Uncheck Show Error Alert after Invalid Data is entered box. Click OK to apply the data validation and create the drop-down list. You will see that the drop-down list has been created in the selected cell. How to set a default value by VBA code in Excel. Data validation in Excel only controls what can be entered in a cell. Users can still edit the drop-down list and choose other options if they want to. Now, let's set a default value for the drop-down list. Select a value from the drop-down list. Click the Developer tab in the ribbon. Click Visual Basic or press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic for Applications Editor. Select the worksheet, right-click and select Insert from the menu and then select Module. This will insert a new module where you can write your VBA code. In the Module window, paste the following VBA code. Save your Excel workbook as a macro-enabled workbook to allow the execution of VBA code. Close the VBA editor by clicking the X button or pressing Alt plus Q. In Current Worksheet, in Developer tab, click Macros. Select the above Excel macro. Click Run button. Let's see the result. Now, the preset default value, choose from the list, will be displayed in the cell. Thanks for watching. 